Hello, it's me CGD. The time is 14.43, 16th of December 2010. Um, this piece um, comes in, um, well I'll start with one part, which is uh, I'll call The Joke. Um, it's the prison officers of Brixton Prison who keep saying they're coming to kill me, but they're killing me already by infecting my heart with the use of satellites, computer programs, um, and the information stored in databases. But the real joke is they know where I live uh, and they know my email address and my phone number, um, past, present and future. Um, how did they acquire this information um, is not certain at this stage, but it has to involve some form of Ill illegal activity. Um, they're conspiring to fit me up, set me up, and frame me up for drugs charges, um, money laundering, um, possibly uh, murders um, and any offence they think they can just pick me up and set me up and frame me with but they also want to lock in and lock down my family and friends with me um, again this is not going to happen you know there's no evidence to substantiate that this is a sophisticated game of bluff and the prison officers have got their phone numbers their addresses their emails and any private banking details or financial details whether they are um, a council tenant or private tenant or if they're a, a homeowner um, information like that which they wouldn't normally get um, in the course of their duties it's how they've used this information and built on it um, for example they know where family and friends go on holidays how do they know this uh, they also know what schools they've gone to how um, also know who their friends are from their earliest um, dates you know they also know when they were born um, where they were born, what hospitals they've been treated in for any ailments, um, you know, what favourite foods they like, what music they like, what television programmes they like. How did they acquire this information? Um, there's something not quite right here. Um, they're going to claim it's through me. I'm like a giant relay system. But what I don't see in here, how can they be using that information? Like when they change decorations uh, or the you know, wallpapering or the painting of their house or any internal m building wall being removed. It's not possible because, you know, I've been in prison for two periods of time in my life and these changes could have been made while I was in prison and they'd be unaware. Um, but it's the intention of HMP Brixton Prison to go into the planning department and to see the structural changes and to see whether it was legal or illegal. Um, it's a joke with HMP Brixton Prison and what they're doing. Um, the other part is it's called the knock. Um, HMP Brixton Prison obsessed um, with criminality. Um, they're obsessed with trying to bring people to justice illegally. They're looking for tenuous co uh, connections between people uh, for whatever reason, but it, it doesn't pan out. You know, they have to fabricate some sort of connection. Um, no matter how far away it is, um, in order for their operation to, you know, um, bear uh, fruition, but it's n it's not possible. They have to use the police as a buffer system, or an informer as a buffer system, and that's illegal. You cannot go around giving the police false um, uh, false information and evidence, um, because if you do, you'll be arrested. I won't tell you what charge. I'll leave that to the police. That's their job, but the. Prison officers of HMP Brixton Prison, past, present and future, are locked in, locked down, as Brixton Prison is one giant crime scene. They're trying to fit up all the inmates on various charges, um, supply charges, conspiracy at supply, possession with intent, the same with mobile phones. These are the primaries. And then they're going after um, anyone who's trying to escape um, and find information through their mail, phone calls, whatever. Um, whatever detection method that, that can be conspired to be used with the use of the technology that they have, which is illegal technology, weapons of mass destruction, weapons of death penalties, weapons of databases, entering, entering into other people's databases without permission, illegally, and with the use of satellites. They can break into other satellites, uh, reconfigure them and destroy them, other countries' weapons of mass destruction. They can turn to this particular satellite and blow them up. They can destroy infrastructures of countries, telecommunications. They can actually blow up um, armories. You know, this goes on and on, these type of conspiracies. I'll leave it for there now, thank you.